So self-realization is really the exploration of who you are in the embodiment of your mind, body, and spirit. So looking for that and wondering what that looks like for you and what that means is sometimes really focusing on spirit's guidance and spirit's intuition and hearing the whispers of spirit so that you're understanding how to find out about your direction, your guidance, what connects with you, what resonates with you. So sometimes you might feel led to just go to the bar and then you happen to meet your future wife there. Or you might happen to meet your best friend and you guys make a business together. So there's a lot of different variables when you're thinking about putting yourself out there, but also listening to spirit when spirit commands you to do something. So generally spirit will never ask you to do something that you're not ready for. So a lot of the times when I hear people like, what if I hear a specific voice that is telling me to do something? Obviously that's not spirit. Spirit would never tell you to do something that is negative, that is heinous, that is not coming from a sense of truth and sense of love. That means that you need to connect to spirit more deeper. So I hear a lot of inquiries, a lot of questions. And the reason why I've been doing these long videos is because I think sometimes we need more of an explanation of what we're hearing, what we're seeing. So anything that you're receiving and hearing and connecting to should be from the utmost connection of spirit, God's source energy, higher self. So sometimes we're presented with reflections. Sometimes our higher self and spirit are presenting us with circumstances, reflections, experiences, etc. So sometimes spirit will tell you to not go to this department store. Well, there's a reason for that. They could have bad prices, but also the clientele could be rude. Also, it could prevent you from maybe someone going in there and doing something very, very heinous. So sometimes, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, sometimes what will happen, that spirit will protect you in moments where you know that you're not supposed to do something. You know that something is happening and you don't need to be a part of it. So spirit will never put you in the position of feeling like you're doing things just randomly. So sometimes I feel like some people act like, will spirit have me do something randomly? Sometimes you won't know, but ultimately when you do it, you'll understand the meaning and the lesson behind it. And generally it will give you the utmost grace to really focus on what spirit wants from you and how spirit wants to breathe things out of you, initiate things out of you, help you connect into the embodiment of the mind, body, and spirit.